Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is Speaking Geek Tone video blog series about all the cool things from around the net that is geeky, fun, and awesome. And we are still talking about Toy Fair 2013. I'm going to do a whole bunch of these videos to kind of wrap up everything I've talked about, seen, and done. I mean, we have to admit that Toy Fair, for me, business wise, was great. Tons of business cards, tons of swag, tons of great contacts, and hopefully better products for you guys that you will want to buy. And today I want to talk about a company called Biff Bang Pal. Biff Bang Pal does those great Mego inspired action figures that are the Venture Brothers Twilight Zone. You've seen them in stores. They, they have everything from the Battlestar Galactica. They have the lunch boxes for $6 million dollar man. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, it's up online. Uh, go subscribe to the channel. You'll see it. <clears throat> anyway, uh, today they, I want to show you the cool um, little swag they gave out to press and stuff. And that is their... Monitor Mates, uh, they have a Star Trek, the next generation, Borg Mini. Little glare, sorry, the monitor gets glary. And the Doctor Who TARDIS Mini Bobblehead Monitor Mate as well. So, uh, I thought I'd open these up and show you what these cool little products look like. And I just shake the camera. Anyway, what's cool is they come in these little clamshell cases. You, you probably, if you're a collector, you know what these kind of cases are. They, the resealable cases, which is such a cool little thing. You can go open it up, take it out, and then you'll see here. You got a TARDIS. Let me show you off a little bit there. This police call box, right? Public call box. And is it open or anything? No, it's a solid a hollow piece because it's a bottle. You see that? W -w 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 -w. On the bottom, it has. 50 years of BBC Doctor Who 2012 BBC licensed property right there and you know it just goes it's just got little things uh, pulled to open there's a little sticker right there it says pulled to open uh, free public phone whatever have you that's cool because if you ever watch the TV series you'll see that it has that the TARDIS and it's really kind of cool check it out you know and I really have to admit that uh, okay so uh, how I guess you would attach this to a monitor would be the kind of little sticky pad, right there. little sticky tape, and you would attach it to your monitor. I have a flat screen that's about like that thick, so I really wouldn't. Yeah, no, nah, it's not going up there. But it's a desktop. I mean, you can fill your desk just fine if you're if you're in an office and you want to have cool little geeky stuff to have. Put this on your shelf at your desk right there, and people go walk around Bob it. Like, I have a shelf up here, and I think it would look really cool. And, uh, you know, it's one of those little geeky Doctor Who items. That, <laughs> who doesn't want a TARDIS? I mean, those old call boxes, especially the British uh, phone boots, are really cool looking. In fact, this police public call box is really cool. And it's iconic, it's classic. And if you don't want to display it, you can just put it back in the thing and right back in a clamshell. And then keep it in the box. And actually, probably go and put this on your shelf. Close it back up like that. And you can just hang that. Very cool. Uh, very awesome. And then, of course, we have the Star Trek Next Generation Borg bobble. I think it's a bobble, right? Yeah, it's also a bobble. Wow, you can see the spring better in this because it's a. Let me show you that on the bottom. Let's see, that's all hollow. But oh, this one's heavy. Yeah, you see that one going. You can see the board going around. Uh, and the details on this are just really amazing. I hope I can get this for you. See a little tint of green in there? That's really cool. And it's all on, all, all, it's on these four sides in the top, not the bottom. And you go on your bobble. This bobble is a lot better, I think, because of the design. And just so you notice that you got the Star Trek logo right there, next direction. But actually, another cool thing is this base is colored with the Toy Fair colors, which you'll see in the logo. The Toy Fair 2013 colors are that as well. So that's how you know this is an exclusive one. This was a limited edition uh, for. Entertainment Earth, so I think you can get this on Entertainment Earth still. Uh, I don't think it'll be with this color because this color was exclusively for Toy Fair. So there you go. Uh, with Star Trek, I love Star Trek, but something so cool about the Borg, the cubes. I mean, my wife is a Rubik's cube collector, so 
we have cubes all over my house, so we'll see a cube like this. And the details are really well done. I mean, it looks so much like right from the show. If they did more stuff like this, maybe getting like the Star Trek ships and stuff, I would, I, I'd get those. If they get the Star Wars license and you have a bobble headed like, you know, Millennium Falcon. Well, here's hoping, hoping, and hoping. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's the cool little swag that Biff Bang Pow gave out. And if you are into Biff Bang Pow, you should definitely be collecting that stuff already. But if you're into like stuff like the Venture Brothers, uh, Star Star Trek, and uh, Star Galactica, and, oh man, they have six million dollar man. They have a lot of great classic licenses, and they're working on some new stuff. So you know the Twilight Zone stuff is really gorgeous. I know if you go to Toys R Us, you'll see it there. So you really probably should be buying the Star, just uh, the Twilight Zone stuff. All right, guys. Uh, what do you think about the Fang Pal? Are you big fans? Do you collect their stuff? Are you into the Venture Brothers? Or is this not your thing? Let me know. Leave a video response, comments, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. I remember, you know, just Toy Fair was so big. There's so much to stay tuned every day. We have lots of content. Great swag. And I'm telling you, if you don't buy the Fang Pal, at least check out their stuff. At least pick up something. They have these awesome shot glasses. So if you're a drinker, they got shot glasses. They have like geek stuff, so you can be a drunk geek. It's it's great. There's lots of stuff. All right, guys. I remember to subscribe to my channel. Go to our Facebook page. Go to our website, alternativeminds.com, m-i-n-d-z.com. Check out me on Twitter at altminds, m-i-n-d-z. And until next time.